my name is Laura and welcome to my channel Boundless Books. So today I'm here to talk about ghost stories in honor of the book Ghost Talkers by Mary Robinette Wall, which just came out a few days ago. So in this video I'm going to be giving you guys my review of the book which I just finished and then I'm also going to recommend a few books that are ghost story related that I think you might enjoy if you like the book Ghost Talkers. And if you notice something a little bit different about the way that I look today, it's because I'm wearing my old glasses. Because my beautiful favorite glasses are out getting their prescription updated because I'm blind. Ghost Talkers is set in World War I and follows a young woman named Ginger who is an American heiress who is working abroad to help out with the war effort. Ginger is engaged to the British intelligence officer named Ben Hartshore. However, she also has a role to play in the war effort as she is a medium in the very secretive Spirit Corps. Ginger and the rest of the mediums in the Spirit Corps have a very interesting task. They are tasked with debriefing the British soldiers after they have died. <laughs> so you might be wondering, why does the British government want to talk to all these ghost soldiers? The idea in the novel is that these ghosts can give the British government real-time information on where the Germans actually are so they can better map out their location. Ginger's world, however, is turned upside down when Ben leaves for assignment and then returns, unfortunately, as one of these ghost soldiers. But rather than dying in the wake of a bombing or as a casualty of war, Ben's last memories are of having his throat slit by a British officer. Therefore, he's unable to cross over until he can solve his own murder. So Ginger, along with the other mediums in her group, head out to search for the true killer, crossing various dangerous locations along the front. By far my favorite aspects of this book were the descriptions of the medium spiritualist magic. In addition to being able to actually see and speak to the spirits, the mediums also have the ability to read and see the aura of other living people. So as you can imagine, that's an extremely useful skill for Ginger, given that she's trying to suss out who the true killer is and determine if people are lying or not. So at times she can tell if somebody is ashamed by seeing a sort of red glow around them or if someone is jealous they have kind of a green glow to their aura so it's really interesting as she tries to figure out what information people are concealing and what they are being honest about so overall I thought the author did a very good job developing the magic system and sort of describing what it looks like to be a medium and see into the spirit world and in fact, my one con of the book was that I thought the descriptions of the character's movement along the front in the physical world were actually kind of confusing. I kept on wanting to flip to the front of the book to see if there was a map so I could watch where they were moving along the front, but unfortunately there wasn't, and I found that that was a little confusing. And I kind of wanted the author to go into, bit, into a bit more description of like what was a military camp like, how was it set up, how was that organized, because I felt that some of those details were left out in favor of really describing what it was like to be a medium, which I enjoyed, don't get me wrong, but I just wanted a little bit more of what the physical world was like. Another aspect of the book that I really enjoyed were the secondary characters. I thought the author had a lot of sort of like funny, strong, quirky women who were side characters. One of my favorite characters from the circle of mediums was Miss Richardson, who is this older woman who's constantly walking around with her knitting and like knitting socks and mufflers for the random soldiers they encounter. I thought she was hilarious. And there were a bunch of other characters like that who were peppered throughout the book and I found them very engaging. Another aspect of this book that I thought was a little underdeveloped was actually the relationship between Ginger and Ben, which is kind of the core of the novel. It's described as a romantic story online and I found that it was a little sparse in the details of their relationship prior to Ben dying. So when he did die, sad to say, I didn't really care that much. It was only later, as the story continues on and they, Ginger and Ben work together to search for the murderer, that the author actually provides you with details about how they met, you know, some interesting moments that they had together while they were both alive. But I really wish that some of that had been included at the beginning of the book and developed a bit further, so that way when Ben does die, I feel a little bit you know, sadder about that situation. <laughs> that being said, overall, I still gave this book a four out of five stars because the story was extremely engaging and I just am a sucker for novels that have strong, spunky female characters at the lead. And enough was left 
unanswered at the end of the book that I think this is the start of a series and I'll definitely pick up the rest of the books when they come out. If you like Ghost Talkers, then I have recommendations for two additional books with a similarly spooky theme that I think you guys might enjoy. The first book is a classic YA novel and that is Sabriel by Garth Nix. This has been out for a while, but it is excellent and I definitely recommend checking it out. Sabriel is the daughter of a powerful necromancer named Ab Horson. However, she has lived her whole life outside of the old kingdom where death runs rampant and those that die can't stay dead. When her father goes missing, Sabriel has to partner with this powerful spirit called Mogget, who is a shape changer, but is frequently found in the shape of a cat, and travel through the old kingdom to find Ab Horson. This is the start of a trilogy of books. They all kind of follow different protagonists, but in each it's a young woman who is off on a quest uh, discovering her own necromancy skills. Garth Nix has an extremely lyrical style of writing and I just find that the plot of these novels is a fun mix of kind of Victorian manners and cool magic systems. And while this is a YA novel, it's definitely appropriate for people of all ages. As I mentioned, the style of writing is very ly lyrical and quite sophisticated, so I think anyone would enjoy this book. And then the next book that I want to recommend is The Medium by C.J. Archer. While this book doesn't have quite of a lyrical style of writing as Sabriel, it's still extremely enjoyable and as the title suggests, involves mediums. The novel follows a young woman named Emily Chambers, who is a medium which means that she can conjure the dead and speak with them. However, unlike Sabriel, she isn't a necromancer, which means that she can't actually raise the dead. In this novel, Emily is being haunted by the spirit of a young man named Jacob Beaufort, who has been murdered. Jacob claims that he's been assigned by the otherworldly powers to Emily and that the two of them are tasked with catching a shape-shifting demon. This is also the start to a trilogy of novels. They're all really fun and fast-paced. I really like the dynamic between Emily and Jacob throughout all the books. I thought it was particularly interesting as they both attempt to interrogate suspects and find this demon while only one of them is present in the physical world. Emily has to navigate talking to Jacob but also interviewing people while not appearing to be crazy <laughs> because no one else can see Jacob. C.J. Archer has a number of other books, ones that actually deal with necromancers and not just mediums, so if you find that you enjoy this series, you should also check out some of her others. So that's my review of Ghost Talkers in addition to some similar books. But I realized as I was compiling this list that I really haven't read too many novels in this genre. So I'd love it if you guys could give me some recommendations and leave those in the comment section down below. I've also included links in the description box down below to all the books that I've mentioned in this video. I've also included a link to Goodreads where you can follow me to stay up to date on all of my latest reviews. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, definitely make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, my name is Laura and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> it's the new glasses. They're changing my personality. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs>